this is a tutorial for streaking out. We take that LB plate and uh, sterile tips. Uh, I'm demonstrating with not sterile tips, but I s sterilized these two here. The LB plate you take, make sure it's got adequate depth so it's not dried out, like it's a good plate. Nothing's growing on it and it's not too wet uh, because if it's too wet, everything will merge together and you don't want that. So we come to Tam 116. And you, you need to get card access from Maryland. Yes. And when you in, should open and you come in. The light switches are here. So you just turn on the lights. I don't know, there's not a light over there, but this should be enough not light. Hopefully you walk over to the freezer. Okay, and you set down your things. So make sure you have another space here to lay down the box you're taking out. And this is where I'm sitting off and make sure it's steady <laughs> so things don't fall down. So this is the minus 80 freezer. The temperature indicator is here. It always has this battery light flashing, but it's not your responsibility to change the battery. But if it gets crazy, let someone know. So make sure this number is around minus 80. If it gets too high, like minus 60 or something, also let someone know. You want to have this thing open for a short amount of time as possible. So first you open this latch and then you open this outer door. It's kind of hard for Ivy too. And then our box is on this, this half of the freezer. So open this one and then you'll see this box here, Pseudomonas. It says Pseudomonas. Just take this one out and set it down. And close this door. And close this door. And then now you you open this box. And your um, I made a strand list for these these files, but the ones that you use, Pseudomonas P, P Serenge is here. And on the side it, it has the date that I saved it and where I got it from, and the, uh, the growth condition, room temperature, um, and I think this is the name of the strain. I'm not sure if this is focused. Um, it's okay. okay. She'll, she'll see. It's pretty obvious. So then you, you open this vial, and it should be like ice slushy in there, and you take a sterile tip, and basically you scoop, scoop like this much out or some visible amount of slushy and uh, try not to let it drop and then not touching the agar anywhere else only touch the agar with the tip with the bacteria on it and then basically just let that ice slushy get on this plate it's okay to streak like heavy streaks now because we can streak out for single colonies later and for you you probably don't even need single colonies i'll show you how to do single colonies in a minute so when you're done with this box just put it back um again open this latch pull it open, open this latch and put it down so sometimes this thing will get really hard to close it's because it needs defrosting. You just uh, scoop the ice out a little bit to make space. Um, but yeah, that's also another reason you want to close those as soon as possible. So the war warmer temperature outside is not building up more ice on the door. So yeah, then this is, this is it. Okay, when you're done, just uh, turn off all the lights and then just leave. Yeah. Okay. Freaking out for single colonies. So you, you generally don't need to do this unless you see contaminants in your things. So 
just now I streaked out a bunch of bacteria here so this is where the heavy streaks are so basically when you streak out for a single colony you want to use a fresh tip this tip has never touched any bacteria and you only want to cross path with the heavy heavy streak area once so you, you don't want to ever go back into the more concentrated place ever again because you're diluting it effectively you go from here and you just streak it out and then you go zigzag to all those untouched parts on a plate so basically the further you go it should be very diluted if you feel the need to dilute it again you can take another one of this tip do it here like on the already diluted part take another tip and then go this way but what this does is that it will give you single colonies and you can see if they grow up differently and if you ever have contaminants you can pick up the single colony of the bacteria that you wanted and save another stock so hopefully you'll never need to do that but this is how you streak out for single colonies